I am still buzzing. Oh my gosh. It's like I think most musical theatre kids know all the words to La Vie Bohème, so I think there was a lot of people like mouthing along and just loving the show. It's like it was made for this theatre and these audiences are just out of this world. We're loving every second of it. We were just really, really uh, blessed to have the six to eight weeks out of town to iron out the creases and just to be here finally is just an absolute joy. When Bruce Guthrie first said to me, I want you to do Rent, I said, I will do it if Leighton Williams plays Angel. I first worked with Angel when he, uh, first worked with Leighton when he was 12. Uh, he was one of my Billy Elliot's and I put him into Billy Elliot at the age of 12, so I've known him for, uh, it's, it's, it's a huge kind of leap to go from putting Leighton into Billy Elliot to putting him in those heels and, and getting him to do what he does as Angel. But he's just so perfect for this role. The tour's been fab. It's really nice to be in London now for a couple of months. A sellout show is what you want, right? When it comes to the front of the theatre every day and see sellout, and I'm like, full house, yes, God. I've wanted to do this show since I was like a teen. First time I saw a rock pop musical with mixed race and black characters in is when I, I thought I had a home in musical theatre. And so to be standing here doing it in London, it's amazing. It's absolutely fantastic. I went over to America and I met with uh, Jonathan's friends who took me around all the different places where he used to hang out, where he used to live, uh, the Lower East Side, the Lower West Side, and that they told me loads of different stories about how the show was put together because he really picked from life, he cherry picked from events that happened to him, from people that he met, he took lines for, that people said to him and he put them in the songs in the show. So that was really important for me and I sat with photographs that they gave me and imagined what it was like all those years ago but now what it's like now and um, it was an extraordinary experience that really fed into the production. I think I was 14 when I got introduced to the show and I literally used to sing along to Anthony Rapp's voice who's just over there and I've just met him. The show's about positivity, love, community, all things people can relate to right now, do you know what I mean? The show's more relevant now than ever. It could come back to the West End in another That's form. That's a very big C. I said it could, I said it could. No, but you didn't have the big C, did you? You had a little C. C? I like the big oh, C. Okay, it's a really, really special moment in our lives. And we all do great shows and really fun jobs and in-between jobs, and we've all worked in great cool bars. And by the by, this will be something that we'll remember forever. And this night especially, it's, it really feels very special, doesn't it?